While your phone may already have a PDF reader pre-installed, often they can only read a PDF or they have limited PDF editing capability. Luckily, you can download a lot of productive free PDF readers from Google Play Store that have a lot of additional features and functions. Welcome to the first episode of Android Tech Utopia, a channel dedicated to Android app reviews and gaming and also mobile technology and today we will have a look at three interesting PDF readers that you may actually like. At number three is Moon Plus Reader. First, let's talk about its features and the good stuff. It is visually stunning. I really like the bookshelf style appearance of the book manager. Start this app and you are greeted with a wonderful wooden bookshelf containing your imported books. You can customize the shelf and assign any folder directory to import PDF files from that folder. On the top panel there is a search button, a sorting button with lots of options and a button with additional options like importing books. Let's open a book to see what the reading experience is like. Opening a book takes you directly where you last left the book and also opens the content menu in the left side for quick navigation if you are opening the book for the first time. The content menu can also be accessed anytime from the bottom bar. One feature I find very convenient is superimposing the phone top bar over the PDF so that I can glance at the time, battery level or notification while reading the PDF without touching anything. Another cool feature is you can control screen brightness of the reader just by scrolling vertically along the left side of the screen. The bottom bar is fully customizable although the default settings may be more than adequate for most of the users. Default bottom bar includes rotation control, night mode, auto scrolling, a feature that is particularly useful for musicians, content menu, customization button etc. Some features like tilt to turn pages is only available in pro version though most of the useful features are provided in free version so don't worry. Regarding highlighting, annotation and dictionary, these are available even in the free version although highlighting is not one touch experience like some other apps we will see in the later part of this video. Another interesting feature is it has many visual options. After opening a PDF, the top right button opens tons of customization options. You can customize screen rotation, finger gesture, even the render quality based on your phone's configuration. Just besides this button, there is text reflow button that is convenient when reading books in portrait orientation. You can adjust font size in text reflow mode for more ease of reading. Various themes for page background are available, although you may mainly use white at daytime and black theme at nighttime for ease of reading. Another interesting feature is it has a built-in net library and you can read some free ebooks from those too. Besides PDF, this app also supports EPUB, EPUB3, etc. and you can read books in those formats without the need to install another EPUB reader. Now let's talk about the cons of this app. Number 1. Free version will have ads. Whenever you close a book, you will be shown these ads and it is something we have to deal with since the developer is providing us free PDF reader and therefore ads are their way of earning revenue from this product. However, there is also a remove ad option by purchasing the pro version if you wish. Another con is some customization options are split into several pages, so it may be confusing to find the right option in the beginning. However, this will matter less when the desired options are set. Sometimes this app is buggy, other PDF readers showed more stability in my mobile, but this may as well be a device issue. So I am just being honest about my experience with Samsung A50 mobile, your experience with stability of this app may be different. 
At number 2, we will talk about Foxit Reader. It is an extremely powerful PDF reader. Its free version is very capable. Highlighting, screenshot taking, even creating PDF is possible and sharing PDF is possible. Start the app and you are greeted with a simple PDF manager with menu button on top left. Menu contains documents, recent documents, cloud storage, export PDF option and scan option. The scan option is very useful to create a PDF document using your phone camera as scanner. Enter the document option and you will be able to select the folder to view PDF of that folder. Or you can use the search button on the top right corner to look for desired PDF in your phone. One thing I did not like regarding Foxit Reader is that in the PDF Manager, the PDF cover thumbnail is not shown from the beginning. Thumbnails are shown only after that particular PDF file has been opened. Recall that in Moon Plus Reader, we had to import the books and after import, although it took some time, we could see the PDF cover thumbnail and it was a more easier option. That felt like I am checking a bookshelf full of books. However, Foxit Reader on the other hand felt monotonous with its lists of books in the book manager. So why did I keep Foxit Reader in number 2? Because of its features. What it lacked in visual style, it balanced that by offering lots of features. The scanner, digital signature, document converter, screen capture, print command, speak the text option, etc. These are very useful features. Open a PDF book and you are greeted with a busy top bar as well as a bottom bar with lots of options. Top bar has recent books shortcut, sharing option, page thumbnail view, bookmark, search button. The top right button of the top bar opens tons of useful options like save as, reduce file size, export PDF, screen capture, password protection, etc. Bottom bar also has a lot of options. I like the speak option that is located under the second button from the left. Now let's talk about the cons. The PDF manager of Foxit Reader is not that attractive. I have already mentioned that book cover thumbnails are shown only after they have been opened once. Still, the thumbnail size is small, so it is not easy to identify a book using small thumbnail. At number 1, my personal choice is Jojo PDF Reader and Editor. It is fast and easy to use. The user interface is also well designed. As a teacher, I have to read a lot of books and highlight them and also add small notes or annotation where needed. Jojo makes these tasks very simple. Just a single touch to highlight lines is very convenient. It has full support for stylus. It is a capable and powerful PDF editing tool. It has support for all the common elements including form, filling, annotation and signatures. Tools are easily accessible and you can reorder documents and add pages easily. Start the reader and you are taken to the last book you were reading. Touching the screen brings the menu. Top bar has search, share, text flow and edit buttons. I am really fond of this edit button. Touch this edit button and then you can select options like highlighting or underlining. Once you have selected that option, you can directly touch the lines and they are highlighted or underlined with just a single touch and drag. This is a very convenient feature when you want to focus more on the topics you are reading rather than focusing on highlighting with multiple steps. Just like Moon Reader, Jodo has excellent PDF manager. Proper cover thumbnails are shown whether you select all documents or folder view and size of these thumbnails can be customized so that it is easy to see no matter how small or big your device screen is. It is also very convenient to access Dropbox, Google Drive or OneDrive as their support is provided in this reader. It also has print option.
The read option is also there, but you have to select a text paragraph first and then touch the option button that is marked by three dots to find the read option. Now, this read option is just as capable as that of Foxit Reader. So I wished this option was easier to find rather than hidden inside the menus. In the settings option that can be seen in the lower part of the menu, lots of options are available. I personally turn on the screen sleep lock and remember last page option all the time. Regarding the cons, the only thing I felt could be improved was the placement of read option in an easier to find location. So which PDF reader did you find the most promising for your reading? What is your favorite PDF reader? Do comment and let me know. If you like this video, subscribe for more reviews to come. Suggest which apps should I review next. Okay, that's all for now. Until next time, take care and stay blessed.